Hey, it's Keith, Keiji's Garage again. Still working on Honda Odyssey. I did a whole bunch of work on it, you'll see in another video. Now it's throwing codes, um, O2 sensor and something else. So I um, bought some new O2 sensors. I'll show you what the codes were. Let me show you what the codes were. All right, so we have this here, I don't know if you can read it. A P0498 evaporator, evaporative emission system vent valve control circuit low. I don't know what the heck that means. <laughs> then we got a P0135 oxygen sensor heater bank one sensor one. Okay. And then we have a P0155 oxygen sensor heater circuit bank two sensor one. So what they're both sensor ones. One's bank one, one's bank two. I don't know which one's bank one, which one's two. I don't know. I just bought both of the sensors that were supposed to be in it. Looks like it's the same sensor. So here it is here. I got I've also bought this uh wrench. I don't have one of these, figured while I was ordering stuff. I'll get one. Uh, part number 24372, so two of these, and I got NTK, should be a direct replacement, it already has a connector on it, um, I think they figure out where they go, uh, I think one of them, bank, well, so bank one, bank two, sensor one, I think it's the, the sensors that are on top. There's one right underneath here. You probably can't see it. It's down there right on this exhaust. I can take this cover off. And I'm guessing there's one on the other side that I can't see. And I have to get back over there. So I'm going to see if these are right. If I'm going to match up the connectors. The connector that's there that I can see in the front is a four wire. So this is a four wire also. I don't know if they're all four wires. I don't know if they're all the same sensors. Whatever. I'm going to... um get that off see if it's the same connector and then we'll go from there and put put this on and then i gotta find where the other one is so which i think is on the other side we'll, i'll figure out and i'll come back and show you guys sensor one are these top ones so there's one guy right there so this is uh bank two sensor one there's one over here where you can't see in the back. I could touch it, but I might. I think I have to get it from underneath, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to lift the car up and see if I can get it from underneath. Because uh, I can't see where the wire is going and all that stuff. That's uh, bank one, sensor one. And this is bank two, sensor one. So these are the two I need to take off and replace. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to already take the connector off. The connector matches. With the new one now all i have to do is just take that bolt off right you know unscrew it and screw the new one in should be simple right it's a florida car there's not a lot of rust thankfully but who knows how hard it's going to be to get that out i'm going to try a new tool and see if this oxygen wrench will get it otherwise i have sockets and stuff like that and i, I mean i'll get it but we'll see if this thing works okay this thing here useless crap because you have to use a uh, 3H drive. So I tried using the 3H drive with some extensions and try to turn it. No, it doesn't work. I have this thing. didn't try this. What I did use was... I mean, it's not off yet, but it will be. I have this here. Um, socket. And it has a hex head on it. What size is it? one inch so I put this on there use this and my half inch bar and it came right off so now I don't know if it's loose enough for me to just yeah it is so now I can just spin it right off I'm just spin it with the wire there we go let's see I don't know is that better? I don't know. I, I, I did look at the scanner. I had to hook up to the scanner. 
and it was giving me uh, weird numbers. But this original has 175,000 miles on it, so it's probably bad compared to the new one. I mean, obviously, it doesn't have all this stuff on it, corrosion. So let's put the new one on. And then I gotta figure out the back one, which is gonna be, I think, a little bit more tricky. All right, I got the next one out, uh, bank one, sensor one. Got that out. Um, I just did it by feel. I used the same socket, this thing. <clears throat> if you're doing O2 sensors, get this socket. This is the one to, to use. Because you can put a half inch drive on here and just loosen it right up. But it's back there. Like I said, I just, I just reached back there and, and did it. So now I get to put the new one in and start the car up, drive it a little bit and see if the code's gone. So we'll check that out and see what happens. And then after the, I do this, that evaporator or something code, I'm gonna work on that. But I figured, I, I read online, Another thing uses O2 sensors. You should there's suggestions of changing them at 100,000 miles. Well, we're at 175. So anyway, and my wife is complaining complaining that this thing's getting really horrible gas mileage. So I'm thinking maybe that's it. You know, the sensor doesn't know what what the heck's going on. So let me get this new one in, and I'll uh, see, drive it a little bit, and I'll see if there's any codes. I'll be back. Hey, it's uh, Future Keith. I'm editing this video, and I just realized. I didn't record the test drive and if there's any other uh, and check engine lights on and I can say the test drive went fine there's still check engine lights not for those two two sensors but for the rest of everything else I think the other other the downstream O2 sensors are not need to be replaced now and then that evaporator thing so anyway there'll be another video on that stuff um, I haven't done it yet <clears throat> I haven't bought the, bought the stuff to repair it, but I will. And there'll be yet another Honda video to uh, repairing that stuff. Alrighty, thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Like, share, and subscribe. See ya.